and welcome back to the final video of this LP. Likely to be the final episode, because we're gonna fight the final boss in this version, or at least in this video, and there are different versions that I have to talk about. Similar to the final boss in Romancing Saga 3, this one also has two versions, one being referred to as the hard mode version, and depending on which version you defeat, you end up getting a different ending. Because there are two endings to this game. One which is usually referred to as a happy ending, and the other as a more bittersweet one. I personally don't really like either, but I have my reasons for that. In Romancing Saga 3, if you want to fight the hard mode of the final boss, you mustn't defeat any of the Abyss Lords in the Abyss itself. Whereas in this version, it depends on which team is facing Apsu here, on which version it is, and which ending you're getting. Sailor Moon will always start off the battle, and her team is the one that faces the hard mode of the boss. Most people who play the game end up losing this battle rather fast, since this is a rather difficult battle at times. And then Chibi Moon takes over, where you will then face a better version, or at least a more manageable version of the enemy. I originally was going to let Sailor Moon's team lose, so I can show the Chibi Moon fight as well as the ending that you get if you play as Chibi Moon. But when I previously fought against Demon Apsu here with Sailor Moon's team, I had quite difficulty dying. Mostly because as you can see, 999 HP, again, and very high defense, which might have to do with the fact that I started up with higher parameters and at level 16 for this LP, because I remember previous battles of being level 99 with Sailor Moon's team, and still having a hell of a time with this battle since this is apparently not going in this version, or at least in this LP right now. Seems like I am just gonna go all out, win with Sailor Moon, and show you one version of the ending. And then I'm most likely going to have to use one of my previous save files, to show you, or the save states, to show you the ending you get if you win with Chibi Moon. Without showing you the battle itself, unfortunately, because the save state is done after the battle, and considering I can't get this party to die so easily, I'm gonna have to resort to that. Which is rather unfortunate, since I do wanted, you know, I did want to show you a difference between them, how things are different, and how this is a very difficult boss in itself, even with a level 99 party. But apparently I can't do that. I even did a file, or at least an attempt at this battle, taking all accessories off, but that didn't do anything. So, unfortunately, I can't follow through with my entire plan. Um, where was it? Oh yes, toilets? heal the entire party's HP and resumes and restores all EP, so it's like 
an elixir, if you will. Clones just bring the EP back. I guess I could do time stop, why not? Just to show you that it even works on the final boss. And this was originally the reason why I put Pluto and Mercury into my party. My original idea for fighting the hard version of the boss and actually, you know, expecting a difficult boss fight with it was to lower its HP with Shaban Spray, uh, not the HP, lower its strength with Shaban Spray, and also use Time Stop so it can't attack me for three turns, and proving that it does work on the final boss. So it is a pretty game-breaking technique to use, but it does come with the 12 EP cost. But if you are like me and have, you know, a lot of colognes and similar, then you can just as easily use it then before three turns are up or after three turns. Get the EP back, use it again, making the boss rather easy. Not really easy, but easier. I do have to say the final boss music is kind of cool. Not one I'd love to hear a whole lot, but entertaining enough to listen to for the time that it takes. I told her to defend. Oh well. Ah, there we go. Yes, you don't gain an experience or yen from this, but... Whatever, this was... Hard mode. Final boss, if you will. Unfortunately looking very easy for me here. Oops.
And that was Sailor Moon Another Story. This is referred to as the happy ending because Ansha and Chibiusa are gonna be together. Which, quite honestly, I don't really like that ending. Also, I think I can skip the credits? Yes. This is basically the intro scene, prologue scene before the title screen, so I didn't show that last time, so let's just, you know, let it play here. I don't like this ending, mostly because, once again, I am very fixated on Tibusa being together with Helios, and just because she didn't really have a official love interest at the time of this game being made, doesn't mean that they can just whore her out like that. Then again, this takes more hints from the anime than the manga. And anybody who read the manga knows that it's... It strays off very fast and very far from the anime, or the anime from the manga, whatever. The game is overall quite entertaining. It's actually pretty short. I think I'm like 15... This is like 15 videos in total. Probably... Maybe a bit more counting the extra one I'm planning. It's a sweet game, but... It does involve grinding. You didn't see it with me because... For one, if I had done it, I would have done it off-screen. For another, I actually used cheats to get to level 99 anyway, because I needed to be that level for the final bosses anyway. Because it's generally a good idea to be that. A little lower is okay, but, you know, whatever. And I really didn't feel like doing the grinding off-screen. Bad enough that I just finished Devil Survivor, which was pretty grindy towards the end. And I'm also playing Devil Survivor 2 right now, which seems to be the exact same game, except with 2 put on the end of it. Also, this comet reaching the Earth thing kind of reminds me of the Sailor Moon S movie, Princess Kaguya. Then again, that's probably where part of the idea came from. If you're a Sailor Moon fan, you're probably going to enjoy this game. I think it's the only Sailor Moon RPG that came out. Maybe. But I know other Sailor Moon games for the Super Nintendo which are a bit more fun. Especially the fighting games, but the balloon popping one is also pretty cute. Mostly because, I don't know, it's just a pretty sweet one. Yes, technically we do see Neo Korean Serenity and King Endymion, but... Yeah, it doesn't really count here. It's not actually in-game. Also a tiny cat that might be a hint to Diana, who in the anime didn't appear until the fourth season, alongside Helios, while in the manga she appeared during the Black Moon arc, which was the manga equivalent of Sailor Moon R. Also Death Phantom, isn't that the name of the Phantom? Or the criminal that turned into the nemesis cause part that you banished to nemesis or whatever that then eventually became the wise phantom and was gonna kill you? Didn't you already, you know, banish and kill him? Especially since this takes place, you know, after season three but before season four.
Actually, I don't ever remember Crystal Tokyo being referred to as the new Silver Millennium. It was always referred to as Crystal Tokyo. Also, am I confusing this? Wasn't there a scene where Chibusa and Ansha bumped into each other during the parade? And that's how he got her pendant? Or maybe that's a scene that you get if you wait at the title screen long enough. If it is, I'm gonna try it out and cut to that, if it starts up that way. Aren't you fighting to change your destiny? Why would you do whatever your destiny says you should do if you're trying to change it? Kind of doesn't make sense. You never had visions in the manga. I don't know why they gave you this in the game here. Never even had them in the anime, from what I recall. No, my boyfriend's currently in Elysium, praying once again. But if it's about the future, it's King Endymion, who you call Papa. Mamuchan is somebody entirely different to you. Well, we fed aliens with the Black Moon, technically. Also with the Starlights. So really, they're nothing new. Even the third season enemies were actually aliens, so... Again, nothing new that they're aliens. Oh my god, this text takes too long. Ah, there we go. Yes, this is a scene that you only see if you wait at the title screen long enough. This sort of explains the pendant in the ending, which, aside from the ending, is kind of not important. Like, not at all. Also, hey, this sort of reminds me of this other game I've played. Isn't she supposed to ask you next if it's okay that she can tag along with you and then you end up in some sort of blue portal of time travel? Maybe I'm just confused on games.
She stole it! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this LP. I'm still gonna bring out an extra video of the ending you get if you defeat the final boss with Chibi Moon's team. And then I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do next. I'm contemplating a Zelda Let's Play and a Crisis Core Let's Play, which I'm very looking forward to when I do it. Still playing with the idea of continuing Lufia with Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. I'm not sure yet. But I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time!